deep stacks tournaments are when you generally are big buy-ins tournament where you have a huge amount of chips compared to the starting blinds. Um, so theoretically there is more play, um, there is um, more chance of uh, you know, playing strange hands and this is the same time uh, one hand should not knock you out. So, um, you know, it should advantage the pros. Yeah, deep stack tournaments are tricky because, of course, more time you have, that means that you have more hands to play against the players that they're not as good as you, and therefore you should be able to um, outplay them. If you never play a hand, if you if you manage to play three hands, of course the uh, beginner or, or luck factor will be much higher. But if you play a thousand hands against uh, a weaker player, you should come out on top. So, yes, of course, you have to play more hands in a deep stack tournament at the same time, not go crazy. Uh, over committing yourself, it's uh, something that happens many times when you become short. Um, when you have a deep stack tournament, that should not be a problem that, that any player will face. So, no matter what you have, it shouldn't be a problem if you want to lay down the hand to lay it down. You're almost never overcommitted, unless you make a very big mistake. That could be uh, just a, a guy makes it a thousand and you go twenty thousand. So now clearly, but why would you do that? So you know, overcommitting should not be a problem in early stages of any tournaments, especially uh, big stack tournaments. Well, in a big tournament or any tournaments, one of the mistakes that people do, they look at the clock, they look at the player remaining, then they look at the average. And the average, uh, it's always higher than what you're supposed to have. Uh, I'll explain better. If there is 100 players le left and there is 500 players that started, the average should be five times as much of uh, what you start. But that's not really true because there is always three, four, five players that have a gigantic amount of chips. So the average should actually be decreased by 20 or 30 percent. So you're not really sure unless you are less than half than the average. So just, you know, be calm and it's okay if the guy on your right side has five times as much because he probably has a chance to double you up because he thinks you have nothing. So, you know. You always find a way to double up, and two double ups means like you caught it. You caught it. You have the same amount, or even more. Being patient is one of the very important aspects of the game. Uh, the internet, of course, makes player playing faster, playing on two different tables, three different tables. On top of it, when people like to play heads up, uh, they go crazy because clearly they're used to play 200 hands an hour. If they're playing two table, 400 hands an hour. Now you're playing a tournament, a deep stack tournament, where you play 25 hands an hour. It's very difficult for these people, no matter how good they are, to succeed in live tournaments. At the same time, when you start a tournament, a deep stack tournament, you know you have to stay calm and play. You have plenty of time to uh, succeed. So just keep cool and knowing that the tournament will go slow. Just take it easy and find your spot. Study your opponents, and if you can't, you know, do whatever you need to do to try to relax and, and play smart and play patient. Then that doesn't mean that you don't have to be aggressive, but still, uh, patience is a, is a virtue that you need to have to win a, a big tournament.